Hello and welcome back to my channel. A little change of scenery if you are a regular on my channel. I am here in my parents' house in Illinois. My dad and I just drove, um, we drove from Friday to yesterday, Sunday, from LA to Chicago. It is snowing outside. I got Mochi here and my parents' dog, Violet. We're all hanging out. My parents are out running some errands and I got a box from Fragrance Buy. Um, I was smart enough to know that I was gonna be here this week, so I was like, I'll ship the box in my parents' house. So, as you can see by the title, I have another Blind Buys haul. And I kinda tried to be intentional with this one and get some romantic fragrances for me. Because this year, uh, I'm single. Valentine's Day, obviously, is coming up. And I love Valentine's Day, whether or not I'm, I don't think I've had a single Valentine's Day in maybe over 10 years. But you know what, this year's about growth and it's time. And I have plans for a very nice Galentine's Day with some new friends. So, I'm excited for that. So hopefully I find a fragrance to wear in this box. But I got some things that just celebrate my femininity, celebrate my taste, um, and just a little treat myself Valentine's Day gift. Because we don't wear perfume just for other people, we can wear it for ourselves too. So, Let's go through this together. Um, so yeah, this box is from Fragrance Buy. I, as I, know, I say in so many of my videos, I work with Fragrance Buy all the time. Um, once a month, if not multiple times a month. And they are an online fragrance retailer that sells fragrance at an amazingly discounted price. So if you're looking for even very high, uh, high price fragrances, you know, Van Cleef and Arpels, Parfum de Bali, they have got it all, honestly. Um, so that is where I always go to find my fragrances. I don't know the last time I bought a, a full price fragrance. Couldn't be me. So I will leave everything below uh, to check out Fragrance Buy for yourself. If you wanna get you or someone special something for Valentine's Day. And I'm just gonna start with what I see. Okay, let me get my phone so I can read you notes. Okay, so I originally was gonna make this a Lalique only haul because I love the Lalique fragrances that I own. I own two, I own Satine and Rêve d'Infini. Uh, I probably need to try Amethyst again because I don't, the last time I tried it, I didn't like Amethyst. But um, I decided to branch out and this isn't just a Lalique haul. But this one intrigued me. I love this. How Valentine's Day is this? Um, this is Le Parfum by Lalique Eau de Parfum. Oh, I really like this box. Wow, okay. Wow, this bottle. This is bougie. That's so beautiful. It comes with a red tassel. It says Lalique and it's an amber colored juice. And it has the Lalique. Look at that, so much detail. I love that. And Lalique is um, known for their glass. It's a glass company, so it makes sense that their bottles are beautiful. All right, let me read you the notes first. Actually, I'll read the notes after. We'll see if I can, because I don't remember. All right. Some people say, oh, that's not how you test perfume. Don't spray it into the air. That's how I do things on my channel. If you want to test things differently, you are welcome to start your own channel. Blessings. Powdery. Very powdery. A little bit of a vintage touch. A little bit of a Chanel. Yeah, definitely that uh, Chanel, like Eau Première, the number five. This might have amber in there too, a little, little bit, but it's not that heavy. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say vanilla as well, maybe sandalwood. Okay, we have West Indian Bay, pink pepper, bergamot, almond. Okay, that's what's giving it this creamy, there's a creaminess to the powderiness, so it's not just powder. Almond, heliotrope, jasmine, vanilla, tonka bean, sandalwood, and patchouli. So this is nice. This is definitely a cold weather fragrance, absolutely. I mean, I think the bottle even kind of sends that message. I really love it. But yeah, it is it is quite powdery. It's not a gourmand vanilla. I would say age range, this perfume could be mid 30s and up. Um, but what I'm seeing is 40s, a woman in her 40s. Um, elegant, it smells very expensive. It's pretty unique because again, it smells not dated, but it doesn't smell brand new. And I see that it was launched in 2005. I can see this being an after office fragrance. For some reason, a, like, a very powerful professional woman 
after hours, so it's not outwardly sexy. Um, I say this about, this is just kind of, I hope you understand when I say that, but it's not, um, it's not seductive, it's not a clubbing fragrance, it's not a raunchy fragrance, it's not a first date trying to seduce somebody fragrance. I think this would be a nice first date fragrance, but you really have to be confident and you have to be showing up as yourself. And you know, I am living by this where I understand like the more I show up as myself, the more boundaries I have, or the more assertive I am by, uh, of setting them, and the more standards I have, the less options I have because Obviously, you're gonna meet people that don't meet them, that don't treat you with the level of respect that you demand, that don't um, treat you with consistency and uh, make, their, make their intentions known and things like that. So this perfume to me is sort of what the woman would be wearing when she is back in dating, but she's not gonna compromise anymore. She's not trying to be what the man is looking for if she's dating men. She is looking for how interested am I in you? So yeah, there is a sense of power to this. Yeah, again, I don't know if it's like first date worthy um, because there's nothing really flirty or uh, sens uh, sexy about it in a sense. It's about energy. It's like, this reminds me of the 90s. My, my tia used to have a kitchen that was red and black and it reminds me of the 90s and it kind of reminds me of her. She was very, very powerful and strong. And this almost reminds me of like, you're going on a drinks date in like a power suit after a long day of work because that's all you have time for is like I'll catch you you know there's a bar down the street from my office I'll meet you there very metropolitan yeah this is definitely a city perfume and it's definitely a nighttime winter perfume I'm curious to see how this plays on my skin oh now I smell the bergamot because I think it fell a little bit on my wrist and there's a little bit of a citrus you wouldn't really be able to detect it but there's a little bit of brightness there. So it's it's not heavy, this isn't like oud, this isn't dark, smoky, um, but it is uh, more of a serious perfume. You know how I say La Lique Rêve d'Infini is like a giggle in a bottle, like champagne? This is pretty serious. This means business. Okay, it's unique, so I'm glad I got it. All right, we have another La Lique. This is Fleur de Cristal, Eau de Parfum, okay. I think this one has a beautiful bottle as well, I would assume. Oh yes. Okay, so if you see, I'm pretty sure this one is Lily of the Valley because can you see in that cap? And I love, let me make sure my camera refocuses because it likes to not do that when I come up close. Um, I love Lily of the Valley. I, I pretty much like white florals, um, but I love Lily of the Valley. It's, it's soapy and clean and makes me feel reborn. <laughs> So this is a beautiful bottle. It's totally vintage as well. You know, the, the text is pretty. I think it gives a 90s, 2000s feel. I think if it were modern, there would be a different text used, but there's something really vintage about this. And then we have La Ligue Parfum on the top. So I think it's a beautiful bottle. Wow. Um, actually, no, let's smell it. Okay. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so I, upon first sniff, oh, I love that. That is gonna be beautiful in the spring and summer. That is a bridal fragrance. That is a guest, a wedding guest fragrance. That is a brunch fragrance. That is beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is a picnic date fragrance. That's like, oh my gosh. A weekend in the country, maybe. It's a little elegant, so it depends. You know, if you're going to a fancy country house, okay. So if you are into the coach, uh, is it called Coach Signature? I have it and I love it. It's uh, a retired perfumer. It's no longer in um, production, but it's the Coach Signature Eau de Parfum. So that I believe is Lily of the Valley. It's quite green and that one is brighter and a little bit, can be a little bit more screechy, but I'm very, very like light-handed when I wear it. This is a more, this, there's something warm about this. This is a mama fragrance. Um, as I call them on my channel. The original Mama fragrance was um, Moonlit Path or Moonlight Path from Bath and Body Works because that is what my mama wore in the 90s. And um, another one would be uh, Donna Karen New York Cashmere. Is that what it's called? That's another Mama fragrance. Um, it's just those warm fragrances that are 
they're not flirty, they're not sexy date night fragrances, not that mamas can't be like that, but I'm talking about like, this is, reminds me of my mama. Um, it's warm, it's comforting, it's just a big hug. Um, that's really nice. That's really nice, but again, that is not a sexy fragrance, but not everything needs to be that. You know, I think perfume taps into or can tap into all of our different facets of our personality. And if you just wear one type of perfume, you're kind of missing out. I mean, if you're, if you don't really care about perfume, if it doesn't affect you the way, like it doesn't really matter, stick to your old standard. I got something in my eye. Stick to your old standard and that is totally fine because perfume is expensive. But I, I encourage you to diversify your collection a little bit and go toward things that are new because it might bring out a totally different side of your personality. I mean, these two are vastly different. This is serious. If this were a mom, this would be, you know, a cold, distant mom. Not that this fragrance is cold, but this is like old Hollywood, you know, um, old Hollywood actress. So it's, there's a little bit of distance and there's power and it's like, how am I going to live up to who that person is. So for, for that reason, this is not a mama fragrance. This is like bringing my power fragrance. This is mama fragrance. This is like, or like even Sandy from Greece might wear this in college. Like it's just that girl next door or mama next door, young mom. Um, this also reminds me of like Mormon mommy bloggers in the best way. Honestly, like I love LDS bloggers. I lived in Utah for a little bit and so I was like, immersed in LDS culture um, for a while and I even though I'm not a part of the church I'm like something is fulfilled in me by following some of these bloggers so anyway the notes of this fragrance are jasmine bergamot pink pepper lily of the valley stephanotis I don't know what that is but it sounds Greek carnation ylang ylang musk cashmere and sandalwood and amber oh so this was Best in show Lily of the Valley. Okay, so people are loving it as far as Lily of the Valley. I do feel like both this and the other Lalique are going to last long. I, I do. Lalique in general, the ones that I've tried, have a really nice, a little bit above average longevity. I, I like the longevity a lot. This was a, a new addition for women created in honor of the 150th anniversary of the birth of René Lalique. Crystal flower, crystal flower leaves a sense of refinement and innocence. Absolutely. Oh, it was uh, in 2010 it was launched. Okay, so it's not that old, but yeah, this is unique. If you love Lily of the Valley, you gotta have it. Um, if you are into white florals with a, a little bit of green, like that Coach one, honestly, if you like that Coach fragrance, you have to try this. This is beautiful. Um, it also does remind me of my Chanel number, what Chanel do I have? I can't remember, but if you're into, again, the Chanel Au Premier, there's a little bit of similarity because I think the vintage or dated sort of smell and then the citrus and the white florals, the way that they mingle, I don't know. Um, this would be another great one, yeah, for, even if you like Chanel Chance, you might like this. If you want a, if you want to move away from maybe Marc Jacobs Daisy, if that's something you're wearing and you want something a little bit more mature or just di different enough but not vastly different, you could try this. That's cool. I really like that. That is definitely for a daytime date. That would be for a museum date, uh, brunch, picnic, walking around the park. Something where you'd wear a sundress if that's in your wheelhouse, which... It's not really in my wheelhouse, but it kind of makes me want to wear a sundress. Anyway, now we have, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so if you watched my last blind buy, you know I bought my first fragrance from uh, La Maison de la Vanille, and it was Blue Oya, which was um, Muguet and Vanilla, which was Lily of the Valley and Vanilla. Now that is one of my all-time favorite fragrances now. I know, like I was blown away it's kind of on the level of Guerlain Ancelance for me. Like, just, I was blown away. So I was so curious to try more from La Maison de la Vanille, also because I love vanilla. Vanilla, like, never fails me. So, uh, on Fragrance Buy, they have testers that you can buy, which are bottles of perfume, and usually, like, they haven't even been used. 
they well this one says tester so if that bothers you like you wouldn't want to buy a tester some of them come without the cap but they're at a much more discounted price even more than already they would be on fragrance buy so i got vanille noir du mexique so this is black vanilla of mexico eau de toilette so I feel like I remember what notes there are, but I no, I don't obviously because I can't say them. So let's try it. Okay, interesting. That reminds me of La Lique Satin. This also reminds me a tiny, tiny bit of Vanilla Lace Victoria's Secret, that one that everybody loved that I used to love too. Okay, this one is sexy. All right. Oh, but there is a powdery note as well to it. Okay, so um, this is an amber fragrance for women, technically. That's what it says on Fragrantica. Um, and I am not, I don't like amber. But this is sweet enough that it, it's, um, I don't, I wouldn't even honestly guess that. Okay, so the notes are bergamot, jasmine, rose, vanilla, apoponax, Patchouli and iris. I love iris. Iris in the base. How interesting. Okay. The sweetness of vanilla is deepened with tonka bean and a whisper of patchouli. This soft powdery take on vanilla melts into your skin in a serious, seriously delicious way. The most sensuous and the most edible of these scents. A must for vanilla lovers. Yeah, definitely sexy, definitely edible. Uh, I think this could also be worn in the summer, honestly. I don't think this is necessarily a winter scent. I think because it's so sweet and creamy, um, not that there's coconut in there, obviously, but it reminds me of a vacation almost, so I'm not sure I would wear this in the winter. Um, this is a great date night vacation scent uh, for a nice dinner on vacation, for an elegant evening. This is a, definitely going to be a great success with men. Um, I think there was like a study done, but anyway, we all know men respond, to, they can be quite simple in terms of their olfactory tastes. Vanilla will do it. Um, oh, if you like uh, Creme de Nude by MAC, which I always recommend, try it. You're going to like this. It's a similar vibe. It's the similar type of rich creme brulee-ish um, sensuality and warmth, and I can just imagine it warming up on the skin, and this is really nice. Um, because obviously I can, I have things I can compare it to. Is it the most unique fragrance I've ever tried in my life? No, but is this going to get compliments and it's a great date fragrance? Definitely. Um, <clears throat> blue Oya is still like that still just blew my mind, but very glad to have this. I'm really into that brand. Okay. I've got two more. Oh, so Gutal. I've never had any fragrances from the Gutal house. This is Anique Gutal. So I'm excited. Um, and because they were at Fragrance Buy prices, I could justify buying them. <sighs> this is Vanille Exquise, Exquisite Vanilla Eau de Toilette by Gutal. And it's just, this would be a beautiful thing to give. Us. This is just romantic. This is Valentine's Day gift to me. This and some red roses, come on. Honestly, I used to say like, oh, I, I hate when people buy me chocolates or I wouldn't want to get chocolates. First of all, I'm not complaining. If you want to get me a gift, get me a gift. I, I'm not complaining anymore, but don't do the chocolates from CVS. But the other day I was, I was shopping for some jewelry and the woman offered me some chocolate that was like Morelli's, I think, which is like nice chocolate. And let me tell you, that was delicious. So if you're going to get someone chocolate, then get them good chocolate. But honestly, for me, if we ever spend a Valentine's Day together, please just get me macaron because those are my fave. The floral ones especially, of course. But of course. Okay, this is Gutal Perez Vanille Exquise. Okay. Oh, how beautiful. Oh my God. I almost feel, I'm, I'm gonna go lift after this. I'm gonna go lift. Um, so I'm like kind of dressed in athletic wear. Yeah, so I kind of feel a little bit underdressed for some of these fragrances, but we're keeping it real. Okay, nice cap. Kind of reminds me of Penhaligons, is that what it's called? These fragrances have some lasting power because they're still floating around me. Wow, that's why you should use testing strips. I just can't believe you calling yourself a fragrance channel. Oh my God, isn't it shocking? 
What a travesty. What are we gonna do about it? Call the police. Oh, that is a nice sprayer. Okay, what? Hold on, what? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spray it on this box here. Because it's paper. What? Okay, what is that note? There's like vetiver or something really cutting in there. I expected that to be a really creamy, really sweet vanilla. Maybe I was expecting it to be like the Guerlain Double Vanille, uh, the Spiritus, which I have, which I love. And it's so vanilla, it's like vanilla extract. Okay, I gotta find out what, what note that is because there's something, it's either like a very cutting floral that's not very sweet or uh, it's vetiver. Okay, so this was launched in 2004. Uh, it's described as an amber vanilla fragrance. Again, it's not really bothering me. I don't really smell the amber like in traditional amber fragrances. Vanilla, almond, gayak wood, sandalwood, angelica, musk. Okay, that might, might be the almond. It might be that. It might be the not creamy gourmand almond, but more of like that biting almond. Also, I don't know what angelica is. Oh, a musky, woody, sweet, rooty smell. It's in the greens group. Okay, that would make sense. Okay, so someone said this is a powdery vanilla, sweet but naturally sweet, as you would expect a natural sweet vanilla to smell. Not heavy, gooey, nor dense. Correct. Total po polar opposite to these new, huge, synthetic, sweet, woody, harsh vanillas. Yes. There's a tiny green note cutting through the sweetness. Yes. Uh, just enough to give it dimension. Yeah. Yeah, I am really excited to see how that plays on the skin because I just think in the air, this is... I can tell this is a very dimensional fragrance and I just don't think I'm gonna get the right idea by spraying it in the air. I get it. Um, wow. Still, I think this is a springtime fragrance. Maybe winter when you're very dressed up, uh, when you don't have to be wearing a big coat. So if you're going to an event inside, a nice formal event, cocktails, tea, high tea, um, but not something where you're walking around outside in a coat. Otherwise, spring, because there's that green note. Uh, yeah, that's very interesting. I don't have anything like that in my collection. Very glad I bought that. Okay. The last... I'm gonna clean up my space a little bit. The last fragrance I'm really excited for. Um, it's a little inappropriate for this time of year. Uh, because, especially because I'm not in LA anymore, it's not warm, I'm in Chicago, but this is um, Anik, another Anik Gutal, this is Anik Gutal, who I think was the nose behind this, um, of Vanille Exquise, it's from the Gutal Paris house, and it was created by Camille Gutal and someone else, so not created by Anik Gutal. Um, Songe, this is Songe Eau de Toilette. I believe that one was quite a bit more pricey. Um, and also just based on the box, um, it kind of reminds me of the Lancome, the very expensive ones that uh, Oud Bouquet is in. Like you, you open the box like this. So let's check it out. Actually, I don't know because the Vanille Exquise, those, are, those run from between 100 and $200 I see. So, okay. Wow, okay, so. So, I guess Camille Gutal composed her first fragrance for herself. Um, a scent that immortalizes one of her most remarkable olfactory memories. In Mauritius, on a nighttime stroll along the beach, she fell under the enchantment of the deliciously solar notes of the frangipani flowers. Sweet and heady, light and voluptuous. Now, if you are not new to my channel, you know how much I love frangipani. It brings out something in me and it is like pretty rarely used or at least it's rarely used in the dose that I want it to be in fragrances. Um, so I had to get this. I'm so excited. Ha wow. If that doesn't, I wish, in my next home, like when I really curate my home, I would love a, a vintage looking vanity table to display some of these perfumes because really these are like beautiful decorations that I need to display. Like this is just stunning. 
So that's songe, which means dreams in French. Um, so yes, I guess this was created by Camille Goutal, who is the daughter of Anique Goutal. Oh, I like that. This is very vintage, this taller sort of spray. Okay. <sighs> please, please be the new love of my life. Please be my new Valentine. <laughs> Okay, that's a white floral explosion. Uh, right now, that reminds me of Lust by Lush. Uh, a more, Lust by Lush will literally blast you in the face if you wear more than one spray. It's why I've never gotten it because I'm just like, I don't know, I don't know if I can wear this. I had a friend who used to wear it and it was great on her. But for me, florals can pull kind of screechy um, and it was too much. This. This is like the lust that I needed. Okay. So the frangipani is there. There's a tiny bit of that plastic baby doll, baby doll head, but not in a synthetic way. So I guess more, it keeps transforming. Oh, but now it says it was created in 2005 by Isabelle Doyen. What? Okay, so was it Camille or what? Okay, anyway. The notes are frangipani, ilang ilang, tiare, flower, jasmine, and vanilla. All the best. Um, oh, this reminds me of also the Huile Prodigieuse or Prodigieuse Le Parfum by Nux. If you like that body oil by Nux, this is different enough, but it really does remind me of that. Somebody mentioned pencil shavings and I'm getting that now. I think because when there's so much white floral, there's something um, resiny, it's like dusty. So it's not quite powder, but it's not like yeah. Okay, I need to see how this is gonna play on the skin. I think this would be too much for hot weather. So it's gonna be one of those interesting ones to kind of figure out because it's summery for sure because of those white florals and there's something very tropical about it, obviously. But hot, hot weather, this would probably be a nightmare. I need to, I just need to try it on my skin. I'll have to figure it out, but at least I do have a fragrance with a lot of tiara and frangipani in there. Yeah, I think it's nice, but again, I'm going to have to see how it plays on my skin, but I am glad I have it because that's very unique. Very unique. Um, so that was that. That was my fragrance by haul. I hope you enjoyed it. And let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances or if you have recommendations that are similar or what you think of them, if you've tried them. Um, yeah, that's a pretty good variety. I think it was mostly floral today and a little bit of vanilla. But I think that's pretty romantic if you ask me. I am gonna go lift some weights and then get my nails done. Yeah, I'll talk to you in my next video. Love you guys so much. Oh, and shout out to Fragrance Bite for sponsoring this video. Again, I'm gonna leave everything below so you can shop them yourself. And until next time, see you, I already said this. See you in my next video. <laughs> Bye guys.